welcome everyone back to Starfield. <coughs> now I have a confession that I uh, I've did this bit. Uh, I had to redo the bit because <coughs> when I did it uh, earlier, the uh, quality was bad and uh, audio was off. So I uh, <coughs> went ahead, reloaded an old save, and uh, we're going to try this again. Um, unfortunately, the old save was when I was in the mine uh, before we meet uh, Bosco. So I literally had to, to work and do everything off camera to get up to being here at Constellation. So um, I think last time I was maybe level five or six, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna, uh, <coughs> we're gonna make pretend that, um, this is where we stopped, this is where we ended out the stream yesterday. Um, okay, uh, now I need to go find, go to the blue dot. After the long term health of our relationship, and I oh, and um, I also went a little um, out of okay. order uh, I last time. I, I talked to Sarah and then went to go visit my parents, um, and I did it backwards. I went to go visit the parents, then I came here to the lodge, and now the parents are here, and they had given me. A, um, a gun. They gave me the Sir Livingston's pistol. So it's um, a Colt 9-9-11. Um, so maybe we'll use it. It takes 45 and I I have not seen 45s very, very much. The service, Captain. And I did ask Captain Valentine. Hello. I am Farewell. Um, to be on the crew. What, what can, can I help you with? with? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get to it. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. I have to accept. Felt I'm the same way when I started to. Mission. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to electricity, uncover something. Electricity, electricity. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. We'll Let's need to head to Mass, check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation has their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? That's... Captain Valentine. It is pleasant to see you. I'm assuming the constellation group 
is very similar to your uh, Minuteman in all of them. Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard of the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. We have some constellation business to discuss. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to reenlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Huh, okay. Well, um, we'll talk to him you can make a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking, checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Nope, not at all. Okay, thank you for your help. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Okay. Go visit the old neighborhood. Oh. Be good. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mass finally sent someone down there, but... Nothing Good thing there's always a train waiting. Priority, priority boarding. Oh, I've always liked that statue. Like it's, it's 
beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Hmm. United Colonies sure is not taking any chances. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law is the law, sir. And that one's still on the books. New Atlanta Security Charter 2308 Addendum Article 2, Section 8. You there is no such thing. The war ended almost 20 years ago. I am representative of the Chisholm of the Free Star Collective. I have been coming here for months trying to ensure continued peace. I don't make up the laws, representative. I just enforce them. You have a good day now. Someplace else. That's what they all say. I don't make the laws, I just enforce them. What? Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? What was that all about? Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. Oh, really? And here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Free Star Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do. All right. Um, here is our dick move. For a few credits, I'll be happy to... <sighs> Fine. Seems, Seems like, like I'm at everyone's mercy today. 1,500 credits. All right, I got parents to support. Where's Bosco? Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Hello, Captain. Return soon. I thought I assigned him to the ship. Oh. You're ready to launch. And let's get this show on the road. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Let's take off. Set course and jump. Grab jump complete. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Set 
a tab and you don't know if he's coming back it's a lot of credits okay i let it slide for a long time because he's a regular but if i'm out all that money i got problems what do you say hmm. and let's try and persuade him <laughs> life on sedonia ain't hard enough He'll trip me. Um, how many? I get three turns. I have four. Guess I should ask you the same question. Are you paying or what? Maybe. Last pool. Last turn. It's only one or four. I want him fame. I do. All right, I give up. Just, Just trying to earn a living here. Last time I was him aware of him yelling about the lady of love. Just songs. Like a lady. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. You got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do.
in my ship. Okay. Devour us? No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. <coughs> Alright, so we need to get to that beacon without being exactly. attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, so we're gonna be sneaky, sneaky in space. Minimize ship power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easy to detect. For maximum stealth, low uh, power down to all systems except one or two bars in, in your engine. Stay as far away from the enemy as you possibly can. Get within 50, 500 millimeters. <coughs> Get within 500 millimeters, um, miles of the satellite. So you can activate it. <coughs> okay.
abandoned a long time ago, and the old star yards are crawling with its bases and other scavengers.
secret outpost. Hmm. Take that. Okay, so, um, how do we read that? Found a note. Still kill to get in Danabola. <coughs> there is a secret outpost we are trying to crack once in a lifetime opportunity. You will regret it for the rest for the rest of your life if you don't join get your ass over here. <coughs> Epic. What does this do? 15% damage from human. Minus 15% damage from human enemies. 25% airborne resistance. Ah, let's take that. Yet, 
plenty of plenty of that. Ballistic weapons do 20%. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rank it.
compensate or not. Oh, thank you. Plus 30% damage against aliens, short barrel, and short scope. All right, we'll take that one. Picked up some frag grenades and some frag mines. Go ahead. Put them. Sad that I lost my fiery coachman, but we can't fall in love
but I, the one I'm wearing don't give me any of that. I need all the health. <coughs> and I need all the health and the O2 lag again. chance of research suddenly developing. from alien <laughs> features and plant life to manufacture components that can be made in an industrial workbook. Nice, okay.
Thanks to you, CD Property, that this whole star yard is overrun. I patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them.
sites. That could be our vanguard. Something is wrong. The, the ship's, ship's weapons, weapons are powering up. Get ready! Back on the flying ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond.
Let's kill everybody and everything. short scope but it's good against aliens but not again yeah i think this is the one we oh you know what i want to see how good this one does large magazine and high velocity i think it's only like a 10 or 12. <coughs> Ship and legendary rifle base adapt plus 30% damage while in space and 15% damage <coughs> and minus 15% damage while on planet, dragging small chance to stagger enemies. Uh, one inch punch. Rounds fire in a shotgun like blast. I like it. Oh, I doubt very much we can survive at this low of a temperature. I'm glad to meet whoever you two are. 
Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? We're from the Explorer Group Constellation. We need to talk to you. Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives. My kind of party. <coughs> more violence. Uh, more violence. No one has any respect for space these days. Who were those people? And why are they hijacking your ship? Eclipse marks. They'll work for anyone. And Vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Wow. Okay. Um. What is. Oh. You don't get sarcastic or anything. But let's just go straight forward. We're from the Explorer what? Group. Huh? You guys okay. still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? I'm going to groan on behalf of on behalf of science everywhere. Then you're going to hand over. Out here on patrol for a long time. People are worried. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's been, been a mess, mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every, and every time, time I go back, back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Maybe it's time to get out of Seoul. I can use more crew. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact.
Answer to Jamison. Welcome to Constellation, as a full member this time. It's an honor to be part of this. We're going to do great things together, all of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. You got it, Sarah. Let's travel. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Freestar Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Field uh, space battle um, adventure in Starfield. Thank you and goodbye.